sponsored by World Rugby Shop. All your best rugby shopping needs. Hey everybody, this is Gift Gift Time at Beilu. I hope you guys enjoyed your new year and I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, the first week, uh, week and a half of 2015. I uh, wanted to thank everybody uh, for 2014 and thank you for your support and everything that you've been able to uh, do in terms of viewers or just citing, sharing, everything. So we want to give you a top 10 moments for Gift Time Rugby Network. These are moments that we got to experience that we felt were key to our success and our progression in this past year. I hope you guys enjoy it and this is all because of y'all and we have so much more coming out. 2015 is going to be a breakout year so get ready. It's going to get intense. You heard me? <laughs> no, you guys enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the video. It's going to be worth it. Cheers. Excitement's building in your mind The pictures smell wafting up to your nose And clean kits laid out near your toes <laughs> Attempted ten sin bin minute nine Zulu runs eight forward scrumming seven backs passing six leg well five rugby songs That's one big part of it, confidence. Uh, if you trust your coach and you trust your team, you uh, you know you do the calls that you're taught to do and if you perfect them that's how you win games and uh we're definitely way more confident corey jones intercepted a kansas state pass taking it all the way for a try seven to zero better never stops fiu would take complete control of this game early and often setting the momentum quickly for this match Winger Ashante Stroman would strike first in what would be a barrage of scores. Scoring leaders for this game would be FIU's inside center Brittany Broomfield with five tries, Stroman with four tries, 20 points, and winger Brittany Wilcox with three tries and 15 points. It's more so them now, another year of experience, so we're, we're expecting them to be veterans on the field. Spring Hill College and Troy were tied 10-10 going into the second half. Big plays by flanker Mike Mitzer gave Spring Hill the lead 17 to 10. Jacob Campos crashed through Tech scrum half. Dylan Blair showed off his speed as he broke a 70 meter run for the first score of the day, putting Tech up 5-0 in the first half. In Get back into the film session on Monday and, and uh, hit the weight room next week and uh, start kind of working on my stakes. First time the team's ever gotten into the playoffs since we came into the conference. Repeat. We wanted to keep up the hard work we put in when we got here, freshmen to the junior class, and we wanted to repeat. That was the situation where we finally realized that, that we definitely have something new this season, that we can definitely work together to make this happen.
The Elite Club 7s were taking place at Houston Amateur Sports Park as well. This was a competition of all the best All-Star 7s teams from around the country. The teams represented were Houston, Dallas, Philadelphia, Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Denver, Columbus, Ohio, San Diego, San Francisco, Salt Lake City, and Seattle. Uh, Rugby is a game that you learn so much with the person next to you. And the opportunity to play with so many players from all over the country and all over the world has made it where I can compete against men my age from other countries, even though I didn't have the opportunity to play as young as they have. A lot of these guys um, from state to state, we play each other all the time. And uh, the competition, we know each other, so it's, it's never anything different. Um, bringing these many elite athletes together in one place to play against each other, you learn a lot. It raises your level of play, and without it, you know, competition brings success. And if we don't have competition, then we won't be successful. You know, this game may not give you the millions, but it's going to take you all over the world. You're going to see parts of the world you've never seen before and wouldn't be able to without the game. But, lastly, there was the close match that came in the sem semifinal round between Georgia Tech and Florida. This came down to the wire. Leading scorer for the South Independent Rugby Conference, Chinema Chukweki took this to the end. We were just like, we have to leave no doubt that we deserve to be here and just that we are not a team to be trifled with. So I don't really remember, I don't know how people can go back and recollect things of the game, but I remember literally I, they said something to me and I was like, okay, because it's a lot of listening, we have to listen to you. They said something to me, I said, okay, I told, they did what they told me to do, and then she passed me the ball and I saw space, and I was like, oh, I can do that! I can do this, this is my part. So I ran, basically, and the entire time they're still communicating, they're just like, one on, two on, gun support, run inside! So like, they're, they're helping me the entire time. As well as Division II's University of Alabama versus University of North Georgia. UNG was able to defeat Alabama 32-28 to to take the Division II title and set them up to go on to the Sweet 16s. Next up was Division I Showdown. Number one seed, South Independent Rugby Conference North champion, Georgia Tech, facing off against number one seed, South Independent Rugby Conference South champion, University of Central Florida. Big plays by UCF's Shannon Steele and Cassidy Davis, as well as major runs by Georgia Tech's Chinema Chukweki, made this a match to watch. But UCF was able to overrun Georgia Tech and get the final win, 56-24. Yeah, we're just going to keep moving forward. One game at a time. Um, Sweet 16 is next. We'll get through that. Um, keep moving forward. Of the company that will hopefully allow um, uh, players from uh, the US to come over and uh, play in Australia. Yeah, I think that you know a lot of the guys here have, um, have probably just need the experience and uh, the exposure to playing with better players. Um, and you know, playing in Australia could definitely do that and could lift their game. And then um, hopefully they'd come back and transfer to the guys that. Uh, they play with at their club over here. Uh, I think that's an awesome opportunity, not just for me, but like they were saying, for everyone. Um, and not even really from a rugby perspective as far as playing, but just networking and meeting people and living in Australia. Um, I mean, that'd be awesome. Takes the missed time pass, intercepts it, taking it in for the score. And you couldn't say anything more about that except for what I played. Let up as a pass from fly half Red Woods to outside center Matt Houston, who ran 22 meters for the score, putting South up 14 0 after the point. For Guyana opened up their offense. A pass from Claudius Butts to Avery Corbin opened up the field as Corbin took it, the ball 50 meters for the score. Guyana closing the gap 27 to 20.
Guyana was the winning score for Guyana, ending the game 30 to 27 in double overtime, giving Guyana their first win after four attempts. Here's what Theodore Henry had to say about the game after. Uh, this is awesome, bro. I, I just can't explain this this feeling right now, but I could tell you it's awesome. It's gonna be alright. Cause the Eagles gonna play, 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 play. And our blacks are gonna roll, 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 roll. We're just gonna say, 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 say. To USA, USA. Soldier Field getting ready for another great rugby match, but this is the rugby match of all rugby matches. This is New USA versus New Zealand. I think you all know about it. I think you guys are excited. We're getting ready to get some of the training, get some of the behind the scenes, and give you a little bit of an idea. But it is super, super cold, so we're gonna make this as quick as possible. So you guys go ahead, check this out. Just one of those days. We've gotten a chance to meet people from everywhere, whether it's New Jersey, New Zealand, whether it's Chicago or Michigan, <laughs> or whether it's just a conga line going on behind. <laughs> Breaking it down and taking it everywhere. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> There's nothing like a rugby environment. You hear these songs, you don't see those anywhere else. That's yeah. not socially acceptable anywhere else. <laughs> environment. Have you been to an international match? Before? Have not. But this guy used to play for the All Blacks. Yeah. Hey, oh, look, no, 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 no. <laughs> His son did. James Pat. Go, James Patterson. <laughs> well, look. How have you guys felt the experience has been so far? So far, it's been outstanding. Yeah. Yes. Perfect well, day. It's gonna be a perfect game. Absolutely. Have you guys ever been to an international match before? Yeah, I have. Yeah? No, my first time. Dude, how's the experience been so far for you? It, amazing, amazing. The support that the USA Rugby put together to bring put this together, get the All Blacks in town, it's gonna be awesome. Has this felt any different than any other match for you? It's a lot bigger. I mean, the All Blacks are the best team in the world, so I mean, you're gonna bring people from everywhere. You know, wherever it's like Ireland or Scotland, you know, they're not as big as New Zealand, so you know, you're gonna get a wider range of people. USA, USA baby! <laughs> USA! 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 